first. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. All right. We have a few things to cover this morning. <laughs> we do. Before we jump into this week's episode. Yeah, we kind of dropped the bomb on you guys a couple days ago. Just a little bit. Sorry about that. <laughs> but. We have, okay, so I'm going to start with, <laughs> we have three things that we want to cover at the beginning of this episode. One is, I'm not pregnant. No nope. way. So that was <laughs> a lot of the baby. comments. <laughs> <laughs> no. That was a lot of the comments that we saw in the for sale video. Um, so we wanted to just set the record straight there. So I'm not pregnant. Two, a lot of you were asking about the future of the sailing channel and also not just asking about it, but assuming that we would stop making videos and we would stop sailing. So false. False. <laughs> <laughs> we are absolutely not giving up a life on the water. We just got started in many ways and we absolutely love, love it. this lifestyle. So that is not true. We are absolutely not going to stop living on the water and we are not going to stop filming it. Right. So the YouTube channel shall continue on. Yes. Three. Drum roll. We need like a, like a. <laughs> Some of you were right in the comments uh, that we are moving up to a bigger boat. Yes. So. And it's not a catamaran. It's not a catamaran. <laughs> it's not a catamaran. We're very much like classic blue water cruiser monohull people. Um, one thing I wanted to add to that was this was absolutely not planned. We have a plaque mm -hmm. on the wall from our friends, Terry and Jeannie, that says we have no plan and we intend to stick to it. And this was just a life happening that fell into our laps and we made some decisions and it all felt really, really right. Um, so then that led to us having to put seawind up for sale, which breaks our hearts. Yes. Um, we haven't even begun the grieving process. No, no, it doesn't feel real yet. So you know us, if you watch this channel, if you watch a few episodes or if you've watched every episode, and I just mentioned that, you know, we are definitely like blue water cruising, older classic boat type of people. Mm -hmm. So that is the boat that we've purchased. Um, it's here are your hints and we want to see your guesses in the comments to see if anyone gets it right. So the okay. first hint is that it's, this boat is a older boat. Classic. Classic, like design, uh, blue water performance cruiser. Yes. And it is of a very high pedigree in yes. our opinions. Yes. And in a lot of people's opinions. Right. It is technically like rare. It is a rare boat in, uh, in many ways they because didn't make of the amount of them built. Yeah. It, yeah. It's a fairly low number. Um, and then maybe one more hint that we would... It wasn't built in the United States. wasn't built in the United States. So... Okay. So with that, we plan on revealing more every week when yeah. we release episodes. Um, but yeah. we want to hear your guesses in the comments. Yeah. The, um, the episodes that are currently happening with us on Sea Wind here, uh, you know, in the Bahamas, are going to continue. We have... We're about, more than half the sea we have about half the season to yeah. show you guys still we're about um, um like five weeks behind yeah. real time if you are one of the people who has chosen to unsubscribe from our channel we're sorry to see you go um i understand that some of you may have or probably were you know um subscribers to the channel because of this boat mm -hmm. um and in a lot of ways um we are on the same page as you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because this has been our platform to really um, dive into this whole world of alternative lifestyle and living on the water. And, and in a lot of ways, I had all this, you know, the preface of this boat, you know, all the projects and all the years that I have pretty well documented in a lot of different ways. Um, all this information that is just sitting on hard drives, uh, you know, that I was going to make these build videos of, I think I'm still going to do that. Uh, I'll, I just really want to work that in whether, you know, we own this boat or not. I want to show you all the, the incredibly 
artsy project of building that Dodger up there, uh, you know, the hard Dodger and all of these other projects that we have a lot of information on that, uh, you know, I think it it's would be really cool show. to show. Yeah. yeah, it's like the history of sailing seaweed. So, mm -hmm. and also, yeah, just we don't take it this decision lately. Yeah, and no, this yeah, is, this is a... Uh, seaweed is where we yeah. built our relationship in many, many, many ways. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to miss her dearly. So we're looking for some owners that would just care for her as we have uh, and yeah. use her as we have. I yeah. mean, she is, uh, she is happiest with her sails full yeah. and, um, and she will keep you safe and dry and you'll have a lot of fun. You'll have a lot of fun. And if you are one of the people that are interested in our boat, if you contact me, I have a pretty extensive word document, uh, chronological, you know, by year project lists, um, with a lot of information about like the materials and techniques that I used, um, all of the equipment upgrades and the list of equipment on the boat. We have chosen to leave behind a lot of the stuff that is on the boat, you know, um, because we want to sell the boat as a complete package, a, a complete adventure package. So the, the dinghy uh, is going with it, the porta boat, um, the outboard engine, um, basically everything that you see, uh, is ready to going go with the boat. Yeah. Um, minus some personal items and my, in my tools. So, uh, all right. Yeah. That's, uh, that's all she wrote. Without further ado, let's jump into this week's episode and, um, stay tuned for more exciting news. Yeah. Thanks for your support. Okay. Cheers. Fish just jumped. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Good morning. Morning. How'd you sleep, sweetie? Good. It's Friday. It's Friday. That's and no right. seams, though, are really. I can't let me this morning. Mm -hmm. They go away after some time in the morning, but. Man. In the heat of the day when it starts heating up. Yeah. But that one. morning, like, dampness, I think they really like it or something because they just, like... It would have been this bad in the morning that I went outside to get the, some of the clothes and they were, like, biting my forehead. Hmm. The sun is hitting you and you look so beautiful. Thank you. And, uh... Then we got a golf cart for today and tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So we're going to go use the golf cart to fill up our water jugs back and forth. The Yacht Club has RO water. We tested the water here at the dock and it's fine to shower and fine to wash dishes. Uh, not so good to drink. Not so good to uh, drink. So even with our filters, it wouldn't have done, you know, enough. So we're going to go fill up our jugs and just run them back and forth from the Yacht Club to fill up our tanks. And then... Uh, and we're just gonna go explore. And same with tomorrow. There's a farmer's market tomorrow, and then we'll just like drive around the island and do groceries and stuff, because after this, we're gonna go to Rock Sound and the Exumas, so we wanna have provisions and just be like socked up and ready to go. So, that's that. And that's that. I mean, it's the now. Okay, I'm gonna make some coffee. Okay. No, you don't have to move. Move move very much in real time because then it'll be really slow.
You were just saying. You asked me to sip my coffee so you could get slow mo of it, and all my brain heard was slow mo. So, therefore, you have planted the seed, and I can't drink my coffee while you're recording me in just like a normal human. My brain literally has resistance to like. Show me what you were doing. <laughs> And then so you're you know, like at the same speed and it was like I had to like pull it. My brain You can't tell me when you're recording in slow-mo, you have to just like record because or else it's like we are moving in slow motion. <laughs> I am the slow motion. Uh, that was so okay. funny. Yeah. I have I I'm looking I'm watching an OC and bite me right now. This is crazy. Yeah, let me see if I can get a picture of this guy. That right there is a no -seam. Ouch, 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 you little They're like little devil bugs. They're the worst. They are they the worst. They literally saw into your skin. If you look up how a no bites you. I know, you, like a microscope, because they, they've done it on like a spectrum yeah. microscope where yeah. they'll like watch the no -seam biting. It's like and it's literally, literally little like saw teeth that also have like um, venom on them. All right, so Katie and I, we're going to the farmer's market. This is a short walk from here. And we're gonna take you guys along with us. We have waited a week, a week for this. It's um, only every other week, every other Saturday. Feels good this morning. Yeah, the wind does feel good and it's Saturday now. The wind is still not in the direction that we need it to be in, but it feels good. Yeah. This brings a whole new meaning to the word stuck, and I put it in quotes because I feel like we've been on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> we've worked hard. Yeah, we've worked hard. We always work hard. We're doers. It's a working vacation. This is uh, our host's house. John Underwood. Beautiful shrubbery. All the plants here and trees are just gorgeous. Super cool. Good morning, welcome. Hey, good morning. morning. All things made with authentic Bahamian sea glass, seashells, driftwood. Oh, it's beautiful glass. Thank you. All found right here. Oh, we have a little, little description card. behind it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look at that conch cutting. Yeah, cut. Sandy. Oh, let me see. Come get your Valentine's. Wow, look at that. That is cool. Got it? Yep. As a wood burning, mm -hmm. effective. Mm. And they also work with the scroll tool. You see on these sides here, nice. they're using a scroll tool. So with wood burn, wood burn in detail or like something like that. Yeah. yeah, I remember they have to drill a hole. This is Thank beautiful, you. yeah. Yeah, I love it. I'm okay, you know. All is well. All is well. That's good. All is well, yes. yes. Hello. I have some potato in red yet. Yeah. I have some potato. I just have to tell you. Yeah, these look good. Thank you. All right. Yeah, can you hold this for a sec? I just want to take my backpack off. <laughs> this is a conch salad. There's like a bunch of onions and I think they use like uh, like lemon juice. Yeah, lemon and lime. Lemon, and lemon orange. and lime and orange juice. Tomatoes, peppers, onions, and then the conch you can see here, which is cooked by the uh, the acidity. It's ceviche pretty much. Ceviche, yeah. Mmm. Mm. Is it a good punk salad? This is better than the one in Nassau. Yeah. That's really good. That's a really good one. Mm -hmm. Super, super good. 
Naturally, I got donuts. Yeah, Katie got donuts. You gonna try one? Right now? Yeah. I just didn't want to make it sweet and savory. Mm. Okay. Let me have a bite. Um. Oh, she's she's uh, savoring it. Mmm. 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 -mm -mm. All right, you guys don't need to see us stuff ourselves, stuff our faces. So we'll report back later. Thank you for coming to the artisan market with us. I just think that all the foliage here is just absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna go back and we'll introduce you to our trusty steed, the golf cart. And then we're gonna go uh, uh, chickens in the road. And then we're gonna go run some more errands. All right, we are continuing with our food. So it's lunchtime. I have some onions and a pepper, bell pepper sauteing with some ghee. And then I got some collard greens and some eggs and some hopefully still good avocados. We found these collard greens at the market. They are organic and local. Pretty good? Lunch time. Yep. All right. Check out our ride. <laughs> All right, welcome to our golf cart. It doesn't have a name, it's just the golf cart. Here we go. It's not on. Oh. <laughs> So cute! Look at you! Look at you! He's not gonna bite your leg. Oh, he's very curious. He's very curious. Okay, little one. Watch out! Watch out, sweetie! Oh, look! Yeah, I'll go. Oh, they all want something. <laughs> Wow. I tried to build a wall and... Yeah. Look at this one. Oh, hello. You have your head out. Oh,
Okay, so you can see how the sourdough has, the starter has bubbles in it. It is now ready. Um, almost a little bit too long. It's starting to collapse again. It was about up to here, but this is, this should be fine for making a loaf. All right, so um, here we have a very loosely combined set of ingredients. And now this is going to sit before I actually need it for about 30 minutes to an hour. We're gonna go get some food and we're putting a very damp cloth over it. Okay. All right, and the timer starts now. All right, so I have the, the bread here, the dough. And so the next thing to do is to form it into a ball. And we are going to do a series of kneads. They call them stretch and folds, but kneads, not like not knees. Not knees. This dough is really nice to work with because it doesn't really stick, you know? I mean, I'm, there's some residue that gets left behind, but... All right, so we got our dough ball here. Just gonna plunk it down in the, in the thing here. And then this damp cloth is gonna go back over it. And it is gonna sit for the next 12, hours or so. So tomorrow it should have at least doubled in size and so we'll show you what it looks like in the morning. Okay. All right, another moment you've all been waiting for. Good morning. And say hello to that puppy. Look at that. Oh yeah. I would say that has tripled in size. I'm gonna knock it down and I'm gonna form it into a ball and then let it rise for the next four or five hours again. And then I'll bake it later this afternoon. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Uh, not good. Not good, yeah, you had a weird, uh, like a, a sinus headache. headache or something. It was like a sinus headache or like a jaw headache and it was like, it was coming from my jaw but I couldn't pinpoint anything, but I think it was, my nose is stuffy right here, where mm -hmm. my sinus was blocked, and it made like this, my face hurt, and my face like throbbed all night. Do my makeup. And by makeup, I mean my singular eyebrow pencil that I use. Uh, so when I met Katie, we were both uh, completely gluten-free for health reasons. Katie has always had some um, skin reactions to gluten, especially low-quality gluten. And I, at the time, had a lot of eczema on my hands and my feet. And so I was just nearing a full year of completely gluten-free. And we actually healed our bodies by giving our bodies that break. Um, I had been using steroid creams on my hands and everything, and it was just a band-aid to treat the symptoms of a larger problem. So, Katie and I, over the last, what, three years, four years of being together, have basically been on a journey to, like, heal our microbiomes, all the, our, all the good gut bacteria. We have gotten to the point now where high quality organic flowers and especially fermented flowers play very nice with our microbiomes. Um, we were baking last season a lot of gluten-free breads, but it takes a lot of different ingredients, binding agents, psyllium and flax meal and eggs, lots of eggs. And then the gluten-free flour, which is a rice flour, which is, you can get organic, but rice and the whole arsenic thing is, uh, well, that's a whole other topic. Anyway, we arrived at the idea of starting this sourdough culture and it has been an amazing journey. And so far, 
Have you had any skin reactions? Yeah, we haven't had any skin reactions to any of the breads that we've been baking. And we are just so happy to be baking some sourdough bread. <laughs> and then all these other like things that you can do. We've, you know, we've heard that you can do a ton of different things with the, the discard. Um, uh, these crackers for now are so satisfying. Anything crunchy and oily is just absolutely delicious. <laughs> I was just saying like for like crackers too and like muffins and pancakes like then we're not buying that stuff at the store and it's not like more stuff for us to throw away mm -hmm. it's like we're just baking it with what we have on hand and mm -hmm. we try our best to cut down on stuff like that uh, mm -hmm. we're not perfect but it's time to bake our loaf of bread i'll show you guys what it looks like so for some reason it kind of cracked apart. It is nice and airy, but I'm just gonna kind of leave it in this free form right here. And I'm about to put it in the oven. The last, the first time I baked one of these loaves, I don't think there was as much water content. This is a higher water content, but I'm really not sure why it kind of like broke open and like fell. It did rise again since I formed the, the, the dough ball, but it kind of broke apart. The instructions say that it's supposed to be a, a very solid, like smooth, round ro um, loaf that has done its second rise. And then you slash it with a knife to kind of open it up a little bit. And then that is how it expands and is able to rise more in the oven. For some reason that didn't happen, could've but it maybe I could have overproved it. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to. Yeah, could have overproved la this time and underproved last time. Oh, so I got to. Put this on here, like this. So that'll be in the oven for 10 minutes or 20 minutes like that. I have it at 400 degrees. The recipe says 450, but our oven tends to be slightly high. So, um, so 20 minutes and then take the lid off and then another 40 minutes and probably around the 30 minute mark all kind of start wait, watching many, it. Wait, 20 wait. minutes with the lid on. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Cool. All right, so 20 minutes with the lid on, and then you take it off, and then another 40 minutes, so an hour total baking. All right, let's pop this lid off of here. Whoa, <laughs> look at that thing in there. All right. All right. So this process started last night. We have our loaf, yep. The bottom oh, is maybe a little bit overdone. I'm still working out the... Uh, oven situation. The oven situation, but it's definitely less dark than the first, than the second loaf. Yeah. Um, and that one was fine. This one definitely is spread out more. Um, the other loaf was much taller, but it was smaller. It was It was about that round where right. this one definitely like spread out, spread out. but I, I don't mind this this is nice so we're gonna cut into this thing and see what it tastes like and looks like inside it's crusty son of a man mm -hmm. there we go. oh there's more air pockets yeah cool cut another little piece That's an improvement, definitely. More air pockety. And it's very springy. It's definitely cooked perfectly. It's mm -hmm. not like a, overdone. It's not overdone or underdone. It's pretty good. Can you try it? Uh huh. Mmm. Is it really good? Mm hmm. Nice. Congratulations, Cap. That's very good. Mm. I'm gonna try. Mm -hmm. Are you good? 
Aku nggak paham. Oh itu. Aku nggak paham. 